two guys. One guy was about four feet away from me. The other guy was about two feet away from me. The first guy got hit, ripped his stomach open. His stomach's outside his belly. Fortunately, he lived. This guy lived. And the other guy that was two feet away from me, he was a red-headed kid. The machine gun took his helmet off and part of his, his brain, a part of it. And he was crying, help me, help me, help me. I had no morphine, I couldn't help him. So he fell at my feet. Excuse me if I get an emotion. He fell at my feet, and he was crying, help me, help me, help me. I had nothing in my kit to help him. So the only thing I had was the Lord's Prayer. They said, do not attempt to land at Vierville. The casualties are 95%. Half of them killed. Land on Dog White Beach. So we shifted over to Dog White Beach, and uh, we landed our first wave there two companies of the 2nd Battalion plus a headquarters boat, and they were cut like everybody else on Omaha Beach. They were cut down to about 50%. All the officers killed or wounded. And uh, my battalion commander was watching a thousand yards out. The, the waves were about a thousand yards. And he said, they quote, I'm not going to lose my battalion on that beach. They said, and you've got to shoot fast, and, and you've got to hit them. Uh, you've got to be able to, when we were running those operations, you needed to be able to survive the first 90 seconds. If you were still alive after the first 90 seconds, you had a chance. There was a chance. But so many people were killed, you know, just right off the bat. First couple of rounds, you know, took the one zero's head off or or you know, hit him in the chest or whatever. If mm -hmm. you get hit, you're probably going to die. So you got to get down, but you got to be able to shoot, you know, return fire very quickly. Mm -hmm. And I used to just practice that over wow. and over and over. That was and, your immediate action on initial contact. How long did it take for you to see the first Marine killed in action at Iwo Jima? Not long at all. When I hit the beach, I lay face down. I had these two boys with me. We, we were scared to death. John Bass alone, Medal of Honor, Guadalcanal, the first one. He was killed right to our right, never got up. Three, three kids ahead of me were already dead. There were bodies laying all over the beach, and we had to crawl over those bodies to move to the top. Again, that, that's a perfect example of people would always say, you know, rucking heavy weight is, is physical. And I'm like, no, it's mental because your body wants to quit every second because you got 100 pounds in your back. It feels like it's trying to crush you like a foot in an aluminum can. Um, but your body can go for 100 miles. The mind wants to quit within the first 10 steps. Right. Um, so it taught me that. And then I became a sniper, and, and I did that until I left. You know, all the lies that we tell ourselves. The world will be better off without me. Um, it's too late, you can't fix this problem, it's the end, all these different things. And man, I, I, I'm so thankful that right as I got ready to pull the trigger, I, I, I think the big man above kind of punched me in the back of the head and I looked up and there was a picture of my wife and kids on the mm -hmm. table. And my, uh, my son would have been um, six, uh, my middle daughter would have been three and my youngest was one. And he, he was like, what are you doing? 